In this video, we are going to take a look at editing some of our section views and even getting rid of some of the ones that don't necessarily apply to us, as in the ones where the bridge location would be. The reason we might want to get rid of these is because when we go to do our volume calculations, Civil 3D will actually include all this soil underneath of this section in our cut and fill numbers. And that's going to give you an absolute astronomical amount of, of fill needed for this job. So getting rid of sections is as simple as selecting them and deleting them. You could even do this before you create the section. So just draw your sample lines in and then delete the ones you don't need before you go and make the section views. So just give me a second here to delete the ones I don't need that are underneath the bridge. Oop, don't select your surface. And we'll delete. And we see that now all those super large ones are essentially gone. And the ones we're left with are these last ones with a, a bit amount of fill due to leading up to the bridge in this location here. So in the last video, we did take a look at a couple of the section editing commands. And to shrink this down, and we'll just quickly go over that again, if you're looking at this, just this one specific video. So I'm going to select my section. I'm going to right click section view properties. And I'm going to look at the offsets and the elevations. So again, on this one, I can use your specified. I could probably go 30 meters on both sides, hit apply just to see what I'm left with. And I'm happy with that. It includes the whole road and we don't need to extend it any further. Same with the elevations. I can go user specified. I'm going to set it to 1100. And then probably I'll go 1115. I find when things are centered, they just look a little bit nicer. And in fact, you can even go 1114. So back into section view properties. Under the sections, we can turn things on and off. We can change the data sources. Let's make a new style for our design, our 50th Avenue design. So under the style, EDDT section, I'm going to just, I'll do that again. I'll click on where it says EDDT section. I'm going to copy this current selection. And I'm going to name this EDDT section design. And I'm going to change the display. We'll make it cyan so it matches our profile. And that's all we really need to change in here. And I'll hit OK. I'll hit OK. And if I hit OK again, every single section should update. I'm going to run a regen all. And it doesn't look like they all have. So I might actually have to go through one by one and change them. What if I go under sample more sources? So this one, okay, I can set this to EDD section design. If I hit apply, it should now hopefully apply to every single one. And still again, it hasn't. Okay, I'm gonna look under sample lines and look in the group properties now. And this one says varies. So now this leads me to believe that Hopefully it changes them all. And yes, it looks like it has. Now, if I select this and go back into edit section style, I don't want these to be dashed. I want them to be a continuous line. So again, I had to look in three different places to find out exactly where to change that. And if we select our section now, we're gonna look at edit section view style. We're gonna look at the style itself. The information tab, pretty general to everything else. The graph tab, we have a vertical exaggeration. We can go 10 times, we can go two times, we can go one time. We can switch them right to left so we can view them backwards if we want. The grid, again, similar to the profile style. This, this is a very, very similar to the profile styles. Our title annotation, horizontal axis, vertical axis, what do we wanna see? We have a left, center, and top now, so you can display your vertical axis down the middle. Your display tab has all the same options. And your summary. So very, very similar to the profile one.
we can update section view layouts. If we've made some changes and they haven't they haven't uh, taken, we can update. Regen all is also another handy command. We can zoom to sample lines and it will show us which sample line it is. If we need to go take a look at a specific section, like this one here, for example, around 1000. Okay, there's a lot of dirt there. Okay, it's because we're starting to ramp up this hill and we have a lot of uh, a lot of fill needed here. So just a quick video on editing sections and taking a look at the options. If you want to move some of these, again, I specify, or I, I highly recommend using the grip here and not the actual move command. We can increase the the buffer around it with just these grips. So a quick video on editing the sections.